Hello! This is Cinema 4D Quick Tips and today we will show you how to place 3D object into the photo and fit it harmoniously into the environment. First, create a camera and upload a photo. To create a Redshift standard camera, open the Redshift menu, select cameras and click on the standard. Click on the RS camera in the object manager, select the background tab, go to the background property and press override button so that the background settings from the camera override the render settings. Go to the image property and load the photo. Enter the camera by clicking on the square icon to the right of the camera object in the object manager. Now we will calibrate the camera by determining the camera parameters using information from the photo. Right click on the RS camera in the object manager, select tracker text and click camera calibrator. The camera calibrator expression has appeared to the right of the RS camera object in the object manager. Click on the camera calibrator expression and select calibrate tab. Select for yourself the directions of the coordinate axis for the shelf in the photo. Let the X axis, which is red, goes along the length of the shelf. The Y axis, which is green, goes along the height of the shelf. And the blue Z axis run along the depth of the shelf. Press the Add Grid button and place the grid that appears on a rectangular plane the sides of which are parallel to the coordinate axis you selected by dragging the corners of the grid. Then press the Shift T and click on one of the vertical sides of the grid, after which this side, as well as the vertical lines parallel to it, will turn red. It indicates that these lines have become parallel to the x-axis. But this is not what we need. We need the vertical lines to be parallel to the y-axis. Therefore, while holding the Shift key, click on the vertical side of the grid again, after which the vertical lines of the grid will turn green. It indicates that these lines have become parallel to the y-axis. This is what we need. Next, Press the Shift key and click on one of the horizontal sides of the grid until that side, as well as the horizontal lines parallel to it, turn blue. It indicates that these lines have become parallel to the Z axis. In the Calibrate status of the Calibrate tab, most of the colors to the right of the camera parameters have changed from red, it means that no solution found, to yellow, it means indirect solution found and large discrepancies possible and green. It indicates a solution with good accuracy found. We are done with the grid. You can attach grids to other rectangular planes, whose sides are parallel to the directions of the coordinate axis you selected. But it is possible that in your photo there are no such planes at all. In this case, you will have to use only lines. To add a line, press the Add Line button and drag the ends of the line so that it is parallel to one of the coordinate axes you selected. Let's drag a line to the front edge of the shelf, where it will be parallel to the X axis. Press on the Shift key and click on the line once. It turned red, which indicates that it became parallel to the X axis. We can also add two more lines parallel to the X axis. and one line parallel to the y-axis. After adding grids and lines, set the pin. It will be the initial center of the coordinate axis for the objects you will add or create. Add the pin by pressing Add Pin button. A small orange circle has appeared in the viewport. It's a pin. Drag the pin to the corner of the grid, the length of one of the sides of which you know. In our case, it is far bottom corner of the grid. 
and enter the known length. In our case, it is the height of the shelf, which is 37 cm. So select the grid, check the known length Y box and type 37. You can also drag the pin to one of the ends of the line, the length of which you know. In the calibration status of the Calibrate tab, the colors for camera parameters are green with the exception of the Z vanishing point parameter, which is yellow. However, overall, we calibrated the camera quite accurately. Now let's add a 3D object to our scene. For this, open the Asset Browser by clicking on the Asset Browser logo. Go to the Models tab, press the Packaging folder, move the scroll bar down and drag and drop the Can Shaving Gel Women into the viewport. After that, close the Asset Browser and adjust the position of the 3D object in the XZ plane by dragging it in the viewport. To track the results, run the Redshift's Interactive Preview Rendering by opening the Redshift menu, clicking on RS Render View and pressing the Start button. Move the Render View to the top left corner and make it smaller. Now let's bring our 3D object to life by adding lighting, shadows and reflections. If you look closely at the photo, you will see that the shelf is illuminated by the general diffused light and the lamp located slightly above and to the right of the camera, since the frogs cast shadows a little down and to the left. To simulate general lighting for our 3D object so that it contains the color information from our photo, create a redshift dome light by opening the redshift menu, selecting lights and clicking on the dome light. Go to the Object tab, load our photo as a texture and reduce the general intensity to 0.3. Go to the Details tab and uncheck the Cast Shadow box. To simulate lighting from a lamp, create a redshift point light by opening the redshift menu, selecting lights and clicking on the point light. Switch to the top view in the viewport, move the spotlight a little to the right of the camera, switch to the right view and move the spotlight slightly above the camera, and return to the perspective view. Go to the object tab of the RS point light and increase the general intensity to 13000. Go to the Details tab, increase the shadow transparency to 0.2 and turn up the shadow softness to 1. Then create a horizontal reflective plane. For this, create a plane object, reduce its width and adjust its height according to the depth of the shelf. Right click on the plane object in the object manager, select render text and click on the RS object. Select the RS object tag to the right of the plane in the object manager, go to the matte tab, check override box, then check the enabled box in general section to make the plane transparent. Increase the reflection scale to 1 and check the enabled box in shadow section so that we can see the shadow. Create a new Redshift standard material by opening the Material Manager and clicking on the new default Material Plus logo. Apply the material to the plane so that we can see the reflection of our 3D object on the plane and close the Material Manager. Next, create a vertical reflective plane. For this, create a plane object Reduce its width and height. Go to the coordinate tab and type 90 in RP field to rotate the plane by 90 degrees around the Y axis. And lift it up so that its lower edge is aligned with the far edge of the horizontal reflective plane. Right click on the plane 1 object in the object manager, 
select render text and click on the RS object. Select the RS object tag to the right of the plane 1 in the object manager. Go to the Mat tab. Check override bugs. Then check the enabled bugs in general section to make the plane transparent. And check the enabled bugs in shadow section so that we can see the shadow. Go to the visibility tab. Check override bugs. Then uncheck the secondary ray visible bugs in general section. Finally, let's render the scene. Thank you for your attention. Subscribe to the channel and put your finger up.